Yo, let's go. Okay, next mission. I guess I'm gonna go for the uh, signal first and then we'll do the lab. Uh, I hope I bought enough ammo, right? Right? See, tip 68. Save your game regularly. That's exactly what I'm doing. Thank you, game. That's exactly what I'm doing. I like some of these new anomalies are pretty cool. Like, a lot of more, um... Trees in these anomalies. Vegetation, whatever the fuck you call it. It's pretty nice. Yeah, let's go. Let's find the sentry. How are we doing ammo wires? Okay, not bad. I don't think there's any point in carrying out this detector, but we're doing it anyways. We've already been around these areas, so... Oh, this one. This is what I was saying yesterday, this, this game is, is so peaceful. This could be one of them animated backgrounds, or... just sit here for like you know 10 hour YouTube videos where it's like this thing just repeats itself especially with the uh, music the atmosphere damn it's really good yeah okay, let's go I also notice it's 420 so it's gonna get dark soon 420 yay get it okay so let's go up over here Okay, we got some firing going on. Let's shoot at something. I right, gone crazy. Okay. No! 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 But just don't shoot me. Okay, so it's probably one of them uh, mind controllers. I think I heard. Motherfucker. Ah, fuck, I knew. Yeah, I thankfully have a lot of defenses. Was that a skull? Yeah, it was a skull. I guess when they look at you, there's a skull above their head or some shit. I love this gun. Oh. Base. The sentry is dead. He was acting strange and attacked me. Bird just I also down. identified and eliminated a controller in that area. Second bird. Copy that, Major. The controller must have taken over the sentry. Uh, he was a good guy. Hmm, what are the must sounds? have been what happened to the recon unit. The controller forced them to attack each other. Anyway, over and out. Again, I don't understand some of these choices, so you gotta pay money to come to Pripyat, but you can't buy or sell or anything. It's so fucking weird. The, the choices are weird. I don't understand why. Anyways, let's go, uh, let's go north. 376 bullets, I hope everything's cool. 104 is pretty good. Uh, where's my silencer? Oh, I sold it. doesn't have a silence room. I still wasn't able to get into the kindergarten. Okay, I gotta look this up because I don't want to go into like this, like this is like the final mission or something. I haven't been in the kindergarten. Let's take a look. Call of Pripyat. 
Pripyat. Uh, how I get in kindergarten. Uh, okay, I gotta get like a body. Uh, I gotta get a body. I gotta get some explosives from a body to blow up the doors. It's a mission. I can't get in otherwise. Shame. Shame. Okay. So let's keep going. Anything around here? No, I've already been there. There's no random artifacts just sitting out in the open? I guess not. There's no stashes either. There's nothing. That door doesn't lead anywhere. What is this thing? Reminds me of those shelters from uh, Fallout 4, which made no sense, you know? Individual shelters? That shit was weird. What worries me a bit is that both my guns have scopes on them. This one isn't too bad, but nah, it's fine. Did I ever get this elevator? Wait, what is this? Wait, is this the one with the floors? Is this where I had to like get the elevator going? Yeah, I think it is, because then the... No, yeah. Because then the next one was here, I think. We saw the anomaly. So I guess powering up the elevator was useful, okay. Let's go down. Bat, welcome back, I just started. Here we go. Here is the lab that you said the other day. It was pretty interesting to say the least. Let me get serious, let me actually like sit properly, you know? I hear running. Let's give it a hard save. And let's go, let's go in. Oh god, no. Fuck, here we go. Damn, I just got here. This way, I guess. Oh no, this this place is massive. Okay, see, I appreciate the fact that this game, unlike Clear Sky, has underground um, underground uh, levels. One of those uh, short guys. Or is it just random? Okay, at the very least, this, they're not constantly attacking me, so that's pretty cool. That does not happen. So I'm thinking there's no artifacts, no. Hold up, I want to see what's on the other side first. This goes down. I want to stay on this level first, you know? Another elevator, footsteps. Damn it, I thought... I thought that was something, there's just a fan moving. That was like uh, some weird creature. No. Oh. The dog ball, of course. It's not doing too much damage, thank god it's not like one shotting me, but it's still annoying. Come on, throw it. Are you 
You can't shoot it at you, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, there's a door here, hold on a second. Oh, there's two doors, okay. That one does not open, right? Famous last words. Can I? Wait. I don't get this. Why is it in this room now? I'm not sure if this is like a... I don't know what this is. Because it keeps doing whenever I load something. Like I load back. It just kind of like... Whatever the hell I was doing. Kind of like resets or something. I don't know. That. So like even though I'm loading... So even though I'm saving and then I'm loading, it's as if the part between the save and the load kept on happening. I'm not sure. Can I kill this? I don't want to waste ammo for nothing. Like, I think I can only kill the fire one. I don't think I can kill these ones. I don't think I want to drop down from here, that's for sure. I mean, I could, but I don't want to. I'm sure I'm going to get there, like, eventually. Can't kill, just wait to get in. Yeah, 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 that's it, that's it. That's what I figured. Is there something on the floor? Am I, am I, am I not seeing something on the floor? killing me the guy's behind me let it go first i guess let's see what happens okay going first okay then it goes downstairs it's as if it were invisible or something If it actually kills me in one shot or what? Okay, it doesn't kill me, but these chairs will. Huh. Right, I have to kill it on the way out? Yep. It's almost like as if there's like a trap on the floor or something. Okay, so we definitely gotta like heal and go in. Jumping helps. Okay, cool. Gotcha. Oh, and this time I didn't get touched at all. Nice. Good thing I healed. Okay, so once again, we got the elevators over here. Let's use the stairs before we use the elevator. Um, let's see where these ones go. I got the suit on. Okay, this light is not good. This light is, uh... No, 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 kill my weapon. Ouch. Go, Brads.
Thankfully I got like good regen and everything. Where are them rats at? I wanna kill them. I wanna kill them so they don't catch us like from behind or some crap, you know? Wasted a lot of bullets. Oh my god, killed by the fucking barrel. Kill? Ah, oh, shit. Okay. I'll kill. I really hate these, uh... Vulture guys, whatever you call them, I don't know. Somebody's, like, fighting downstairs or something. I don't know, I'm hearing, like, this guy yelling. I have to kill this, you say, eh? I really thought I'd be dropping something, I guess. Ah, uh, oh, but then it stops throwing shit at me, that's good. That's good. It's, that one's still alive, though. So I'm happy I picked up all the... Uh, I upgraded my suit to like... The plus 10 kilos, you know? Oh. Did I pick up everything? There's only one vodka there. I can't reach. It really doesn't need to get a vodka, huh? Best part. Oh well. Okay, so good thing we got the red card, got some bonus, um, bonus, uh, a lot of bonus stuff that I'm gonna have to sell, because I can't really use it. Ooh, what is this? What can I install this on? Probably this, right? I'm not really using this anymore, I'm using this. I have a lot of equipment. Hey, what is this better? What did I pick up? Let's get these documents. Okay, so there's nothing there. There's nothing there. Uh, I've been down here. Yeah, okay, so the one that's left is this one. Which goes even lower. There's nothing there. Wait, so there's some stairs here. So what happens if I drop down? Oh, there's a the stairs. Nothing there. Let's go up. I have to go up, maybe I should be going down first. There we go. Here we go with the crying baby, of course. on the other side I'm approaching carefully Little radiation. you know all hell is gonna break loose right once I do something in this room once I trigger this or some shit yeah once I pick this up everything's gonna go to hell and you know it you just fucking know it how do I get in there Okay, well, let's get ready because the shit's about to hit the fan here. Whoa, I already heard the guy. Oh. Where? Oh, yeah, of course. No, I didn't dodge. 
No! Not either. Ouch, that was fucking loud. Oh, the gauss, ga gauss rifle is one shot? You're so right, dude. What am I, what am I doing? You're so fucking right. Good job. Good job. No! He's just standing there. I killed him so hard, he's just standing there. <laughs> Too bad you can't kick him or something, you know, Doom style, you know? It's like, dude. <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Oh yeah, this gun, you're absolutely right, dude. This gun fucking kicks ass, man. Okay, we picked up some documents. What is it? Giant brain. Is it like Lab X16, the one in the first game where we find the giant brain? I think it was a giant brain, right? I can't, I can't remember. I think that's what it was, right? We did find a giant brain at one point. There's something else in this room. Crying baby really scared me the first time. I said this in my one of my previous games, but I'm not scared of like uh, crying kids or babies and shit. It doesn't like doesn't have any effect on me. But again, maybe back then, you know, this game, I'm, I can see how, right? I played a lot of, like, scary games. You know, much more, like, advanced scary games, right? So that too much, you know, that probably doesn't help. I got I got accustomed to the, uh, the idea. Some scary shit. Oh, there's a door here. I think I think the hole and the elevator they both lead to downstairs. Oh, we found the elevator, which goes to even lower level apparently. Yep. I don't know why I did this. I fucked up. That's cool. acid everywhere. I almost like want to go up, explore the one upstairs first before I go down here. Oh, this brings me all the way up top, huh? No, wait, what the fuck is this floor? Wait, I was supposed to be here. What is this? Okay, let's go here first, I guess. You got exactly what you need, buddy. Come here. Oh. You're right, this gun, man. Thank God. There's more? Let's go to the Ultra Guys. No, no. Wait, what? I did hit him, though. Damn scope. Ooh. Ooh. Let me look at you. Dead. Oh, he fucking dead now. Where am I? Just sounds out of place. Yeah, it's a classic um, horror game, horror movie uh, trope, you know? The crying baby, you know? It's like something so innocent used to such a vile purpose, you know? <clears throat> Is this where it came from? This, is a bit, this place is a bit confusing. Where the fuck is this lead? No, this leads to nothing. More documents! Leave the underground complex or continue looking for documents. No, I'm done. Uh, I'm not done yet. Gotcha, don't give these documents to nobody. I understand. Whatever 
what I would have done in this place is I would have like removed the flashlight. I would have made it like burn off or something, you know, for, like until you get out or something, you know, like something is interfering with it and you cannot use the flashlight in this place. Make it a lot darker and like you're good to go, you know. But again, this is me saying this now, like all this experience, you know. Again, back then, I don't fucking know. More documents. It's a lot of documents. And I still hear somebody moving. Like, we're not done yet, you know? Okay, what's upstairs? I keep hearing somebody. I guess that's how you heard these guys, because they can't throw shit at you. You find them like you fight them under these grates, you know? And where did that end? Without this gun, the part is hard. Yeah, absolutely. I can picture, man. I can definitely picture that. Yeah, one shotting them, like uh, head shotting them, that's so good. But again, that's why you. Oh my god, that's why you. Um, you save your bullets for this gun, right? That's why you. You did all those quests, right? So now you have it like easier. So in the end, it makes sense. Okay, so good thing we found this place by complete mistake. Okay, back down. Let's go back down. We're not done yet, that please. So I went down here and then I dropped down, right? No, I didn't drop. I took the stairs. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. That's not the way. It was this way. Yeah, I took the stairs here. Okay, and now we're back here. Let's go down. back here like the other entrance right where I fell down correct oh, shit. Yeah, those are some good kills holy fuck that shit actually scared me <laughs> we can actually open doors now oh my god this is a miracle I haven't seen this since uh, the first game The other place to go is downstairs. Oh, oh, never mind. A shotgun would be good in here. I was almost thinking about like loading up the shotgun before coming here, but I'm like, yeah, fuck. Who's this dude? Can I keep some I keep hearing somebody moving. Also I hope I'm picking up all the documents, you know. Somebody's walking in water. Oh we're back here. Oh okay. Okay, so we do the whole turn around, okay, sounds good. There's like twenty six levels in this place. Right? Okay, this is the elevator. Okay, gotcha. That's fine. Hold on, we're not going down just yet. Let's see what's here first. Actually, anything around here? Nope. I mean, I see water. Somebody should be here, right? 
Damn, this place is very uh, detailed, huh? Like, it's pretty large and it's detailed. Every little, like, corridor is very unique to what it looks like, you know? Random anomaly. Okay. I guess we're going in the water. Looking for documents at the same time. I'm not seeing nothing. Oh, the stairs are there. Just hoping I'm. I just realized. I hope it's not one of them blood suckers. They're invisible. No, they're not here. I thought this hatch opens and I go away. There's nothing here. Oh, motherfuckers. I just hope these guys don't if I'm just kind of Oh my god. Oh my god, missing everything. That was horrible, jeez. Oh, we got some documents. What is this one? These guys are naming the labs like I'm naming my saves, you know, X1, X2, X3, X4. I can relate. I don't think I've ever been to a lab X10 though. Maybe in the sequel. Hey, wait. Yeah, this is where I came from. Okay, so... Yeah, let's see what's over here. This going. Okay, this just goes back up. Right, the stairs. Right. I think. Hold on, I miss. I'm missing something. Here. There's something else over here. Yeah, down here. <laughs> More documents, holy shit. Leave the underground complex. Okay, that means I got them all. Before he kept saying, or like, keep searching, keep searching. Oh, he's like, no, no, you got them all. Just get the fuck out. Uh, I read these. X7. Okay, so I actually completed all the documents, I'm very happy. Oh, those are bullets for the uh, heavy machine gun, which fuck I'm full. Um, yep. There we go. I guess I'm gonna go even lower. Kill those fucking rats. aim right here. No, we're here? <laughs> oh, come on, dude. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. It's like all reaction time, right?
heard some guy. I heard some guy say, ooh. Oh. <laughs> Yo, that was so bad. Okay, just, you know. Let's uh, let's ignore what just happened here, okay? And fucking eight grenades in this game. Okay, I'm going down. Fuck it. There. Everybody's dead. I hope you're all happy, you know? Nobody survived the lab. All documents are gone. Everybody's dead. Let's get the hell out. Okay, good. Watch out for the uh, thing there. Okay, this the lab has been cleared. And again, I'm very happy to see an indoor area. Uh, beyond the usual stuff, you know? Again, one of my complaints with Clear Sky was that everything was outside. Most of the time, until like the end game, right? Uh, where's the exit? I was looking for those other stairs to take up. Where's the. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Brain scorcher. What the fuck? Man, that shit scared me. Okay, this was the exit. I'm like, where was this? Where did the fuck did this guy came from? He was just chilling there. He was waiting for us to leave. The undergrounds in the first game are still the best. Yeah, and, and there's a lot more too, right? And they're much larger and um, also just as freaky I find in the first game. Because like you said, you don't know what's going on in the first game, you know? There you go. We made it. Safe and sound. Trigger anybody? Yep. Okay, we're getting the fuck out. Of course, coming out in the middle of the night, you know? What else is new? Wait, what? Wait. What did I. What the fuck did I pick up? Oh no, okay, never mind. I just. Drink something. There we go. Drink something, eat something. Uh, okay, who wants to speak with me? Almost at the end now? Yeah, it feels like it. Yo, what about the kindergarten? I read that I, it's a quest. I'm guessing that we're going there next or something? I can't get inside it. It's blocked. And then I read online that I gotta, like, blow it up or some shit. Uh, I don't like that. Hopefully they don't follow me. It was a bloodsucker. I saw the eyes. Okay, I think it's safe.
Assistance, please. Again, to what you were saying yesterday, bad sucker, it's like... It's peaceful in a way that death is peaceful, you know? And the music helps a lot. It's not like, it's not like scary, it's just... Peaceful. Abandoned, old... Dead. Now using the flashlight for like increased effect, you know? Stash, stash some stuff and see what's up. Uh, that should go search someone. Yeah, tell me who. Who should I search for? And how do I get in the kindergarten? Unless the um, unless they place the lab in the fucking kindergarten, which again I wouldn't be shocked if they did. You know. Just tell me who I have to talk to. I'm not. Uh, what is the quest? Just maybe I already did it. I hate this fucking entry, it's so complicated. I'm back. Hard save. Again, see the copy my naming convention for the labs, bastards. Some shit. How are you? He's fine. Um, I don't. I don't care for this. I don't care for this. I don't care for this. I got plenty. I can't really attach this to anything, and I can't. I don't want to go back and buy fucking. Ammunition and shit. You know, just stash everything in here. I don't need these either. I'm gonna make some more room. Actually, what's cool about this is that again, I can use the grenade launcher, which I uh, should be fine. I got like, I pretty much have, I think I have enough bullets to kill, will kill everything that's coming up. Uh, don't need all this. We'll keep the food. Before we go to the lab, you have just the lab quest on the PDA. On the PDA, I have a quiet work with Kowalski. Uh, <laughs> Monolith survivors, which we spoke about yesterday. Strider, I can't do shit. Find out about Barges and Joker's fates. I don't know what's up with this one. And bring Nitro the tools, which is not going to happen anyways. We brought the other guy the tools, so... The repair is free, it's like... Nothing really requires repairing. Oh, so now it has a silencer, but when I have it equipped, it doesn't. That's fucking awesome. I love it. Thank you. Um, I'm guessing I keep all these documents on me, huh? Okay, let's go talk to this guy. How are we doing with the weight? 46, we're good. the door. Major, we've got a serious problem. This operation has been getting more ridiculous every minute since the helicopters crashed. Telling me. The men are dropping like flies. We've got no comms with HQ and the situation just keeps getting worse. The evacuation choppers didn't show up again. <laughs> and at this rate, it won't be long before we lose control of the situation completely. We need to establish communication we had control to begin with you right now. Our communications expert believes that the signal is being jammed from somewhere close to us. 
He's working on getting the coordinates as we speak. The kindergarten. I sent some of my men to check out a possible source of the interference, but they went missing, and their personal signals aren't registering. Major, one of your objectives is to establish communications with no? HQ. Hmm. Given the situation we find ourselves in, this should be your priority from now on. Also, is a personal favor to me? Please find my boys. Is this one of the uh, quests you're talking about? Find the missing people. Or am I missing something else? That's like the only quest that I have left. Find the missing people. Um, let's go find them, I guess. Maybe? Hmm. Because I don't see who else will be giving me quests, you know? Like, nobody else wants to speak to me over here. Like, the only guy is this one. And he's like, yo, you want to go ahead back to, like, whatever? And there's nobody... Actually, you know, the guy's right. There's not much people left in this base. There's, like, only, like, three guys left. Even the doctor is gone. Holy shit. Yeah, there's only three guys left in the base. So, yeah. Um... I'm not gonna go in the middle of the night, actually. I'm gonna sleep. I know this guy's like, yo, we gotta hurry and shit. I'm like, yeah, give me, give me a couple hours. Hold up. <laughs> let me, uh, let me rest my eyes a second, you know? I think so? Okay, okay. Yeah, that's probably it, because there's nothing else I can do uh, in here, you know? So. I think we're good to go. Where's the fucking exit? This place confuses me. There's one here. And this one leads right outside. This is the one that I'm looking for. Anyways, let's go find the boys. Uh, have some bread to where I'm at it. I can actually run for once, even though like I'm not running in this. Uh, there's no point in running anymore. Oh, something, something, see, something, something. Something saw me. I, I get the point of the um, the the green bar now. Twenty hours in the game, you know. What saw me? Where? Oh, it's gone now. So now it's the illusions. Oh, I found the real one. The Joker and the other guy are friends of Carden. Yeah, I remember the uh, the guy who who repaired my weapon, right? Which I did. Which at this point, from from what you said the other day, I'm guessing it's uh, it's our friend. I can only guess. Although I still have these documents from Australia, so I haven't given those in. I hope I'm you know I hope I'm. I hope I'm going the right way, you know what I'm saying? Search the body. Oh. Oh yeah, there's the explosives. Okay, so that's how you use it to get into school. Gotcha. Put the food to my use it. There, there you can find the bodies and take the PDAs. Oh, really? Oh. Should I do that instead of doing this mission or what? Base, I found one of your men. It looks like he blew himself up with a grenade. There are no signs of a firefight or any other evidence of him being attacked. Kowalski here. Roger that, Major. Hey, I got good news. We finally acquired the exact coordinates of the source of interference. Kindergarten. The signal is coming from the kindergarten building. 
Trade. I knew it. What they should have done, they should have placed the lab under the kindergarten, you know? Make it like really fucking freaky, you know? Okay, so what do I do? Do I go for the PDAs or do I go for this mission? I'm gonna do my research a bit. Because I don't know anymore. But I don't want to go back all the way to like... Give the Strelok to him and sell the rest of you. Yeah, but I don't know where Strelok is though. Like, is he like gonna show up? Or do I have to go find him somewhere? Or... And again, uh, for the guy's friends, if it's just like two PDAs and like I get like five thousand dollars back, like it's not worth it if I'm at the end of the game, you know. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm about to get beat the game, I'm not gonna go back like two zones just to like pick up like two thousand dollars, you know? If it's not important. What do you say? Worth it, not worth it? That's what it says here. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, Oak Pine Anomaly? Okay, yeah, forget it. Shit, I'm not even paused. Oh, this one, this one's carrying a sunray suit. Interesting. There is no reward for this mission. Although it is required to obtain Cardinal's good ending in the finale. Oh my god. Stop. What do I do? Do I go all the way back and do this quest, man? Is it even, like worth it? Oh, this, sh this shit kills me. I don't want to go back. Fuck it, let's do it real quick, it's driving me insane. Whoa. Controller? I'm hearing weird voices again. It's just a slide in for him, like in the beginning. So what do I do? Do I go do it or it's not worth it? What do you think? What's happening here? Oh, it's the fucking school, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think? Should I go back and do it or not? Not worth it for like whatever. Like fuck. Anyways, it's all one fucking quest, right? I can't do this quest. I'm not gonna do this quest. So it's like, does it even matter? Does it make a difference? Listen. Fuck, just getting this gonna cost me a number in the leg, you know? What the fuck do you want? <sighs> I mean, I can't save Strider, so... Fuck it, it's not worth it, man. I don't think it's worth it. Let's, let's get in the fucking school. Again, for a fucking slide. If I have safe strider, I would have done this as well, you know? But like this, I don't really care for it. Ah, uh, it's fucking. 
It bothers me, but we'll live. Do you have a door? Which one? This one? That one? I mean, I could just get in, right? <laughs> Which door? Oh, this one? So we have here. Just kidding, I'm mentioning a funny straight like that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, good. True. So I should be doing this mission now, you're saying, right? I shouldn't. I'm on the right track, right? There's nothing else left. There's nothing else I can do. I think I saw an anomaly here on my other detector. Yes, okay, sounds good. What was that? My game just uh, just all tab. I should be able to kill this, right? Killing it. Where's the ammo? But can I kill it? Yes, I can. 80 billion uh, bullets later. What's oh, a bit of an ammo though? I know there's an anomaly in here, man. I remember seeing something. On the upper floor, I believe. The brain scorcher sound, fucking classic. For, uh... For the series, you know? Door locked. I don't think there's anything in it. Anyways, okay, no, you know what? No, I'm not wasting ammo on this guy. Fuck you, man. You're the hell out. That's where I came from, I came from downstairs. I don't think it follows me now or something. I think it doesn't. Great. Goss, yeah, I don't know, I'm kind of like saving bullets, I don't know why. You're right. You're right. Thing going up. Uh, not the other way. Oh, hello. Can't fucking aim at it. I just gotta go down, I don't have a choice. I can go up. No, I'm so sure I saw an anomaly in here somewhere. When I was exploring this place from the outside. I'm like, where is this going? Nowhere. This thing, yeah, the uh, monolith uh, thing. Yeah. I guess there was nothing. Uh, there was no anomaly. Just, just me. I don't know. Should I shoot it? Well, I'm moving it, but I'm not doing anything to it.
if you go full team to prepare and no one die, everyone gets a slide in the end. Grenade, thank you very much. Yeah, no, we're not bringing nobody, no, I work. I guess the grenade cannot fall down, I have to like go here or some shit. Let's get a sound. I guess we're going down. Is that really you? Well, I'll be. We were starting to think we'd never see our doc again. Oh, so the doctor. What happened? Well, it's a long story. I'll tell you another time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for your help. By the way, the <laughs> colonel wants you to pay him a visit. The voice Thanks. acting one kills me. I'll do that. Also, Gary headed for Yanov station to restock. He asked me to tell you. That he won't be back for a few days. Thanks. Gotcha. So, tell me, where were you? This guy looks like the uh, the main character from Doom 3. Can't you believe this me guy. anyway, but in a fridge. What fridge? Where did you find it? Where did I find it? <laughs> I'd like to see you find anything. The voice mind. acting, man. And what state would that <laughs> The voice acting, it's like, it's like... Yo, I thought you were dead. You, were, you have completely disappeared and have managed to survive in this crazy zone. How did you do it? I'll tell you another time. Okay. <laughs> <You're> okay. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I spoke to the HQ command and reported the situation to him along with all the information that's been collected. There won't be any helicopter support for a while. He suggested that we fortify our position and await further orders. Right. Look USS that. observers are currently at the HQ, so you'll be able to talk to your superiors soon enough. Colonel, a radio signal has been detected, and its source is not far from the base. The transmission is encrypted, and I haven't been able to crack it yet. Do you have the coordinates? Yes, I have the coordinates, but the signal is intermittent, and it's moving. Monolith again? I'll check. I kind of like our character. Um, it's kind of a badass, you know? Oh, what kind of what kind of ammo do I need? I don't know, sure. I need either 9.39 or 5.56. I don't fucking know. Oh, you actually get like RPG ammo? I'm pretty good besides that. Um, yeah, I'm pretty fucking good. Okay, let's drop a hard save. Let's keep going. Okay, yeah, exactly, dude. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I get it, you know, back then they probably had, like, you know, indie studio, small team and shit. Like, the people who do the voices are probably the guys who programmed the game, you know? It's like, hey, shit, like, we gotta, like, we need somebody to say a line. Like, you! Come here, you know, the janitor, you know, come here, can you do a line for us, you know? 
and that's it. That, that's how it. That's how it was back then. For indie devs, you know. Oh my gosh, I mean, let's keep going. Let's, let's go with my gun, man. I haven't used it in a while. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Even though we're gonna be inside, probably can't be shooting it, but. Got some dogs. I need a bigger max, that's about it. Save the rest in the first game, the second game, and this game. But especially the first game. Favorite ever since. Okay, we're gonna have some fun with it. Okay, let's find the signal and see what's up. Again, I'm guessing this is it for the uh, the game, right? So this is the final the mission. Signal is back. Transmitting coordinates. Oh, it's somewhere downstairs. Oh, they actually opened up the door here. Hmm, interesting. Or oh shit, it's running away. What the fuck? Come back. The signal is gone. I see it. Oh yeah, these guys. It's back. It's right next to you. I don't see anyone. It's close, and it's moving toward our base. Underground, yeah. It's underground. Major Kowalski here. You better get back here. We need to prepare for possible attack. Bastards won't catch us with our pants down this time. Okay. Didn't really go that far. Didn't expect to go back already, but sure. <laughs> Who's attacking us, Monolith? They like, got like three guys left, dude. <laughs> Don't shoot. I'm headed to the main entrance. Oh. Who are you? My name is Trelok. No. Oh. What a pleasant surprise. You're the stalker who disabled the scorcher? Yes. Yes. But my plan didn't work. I came here to speak with your commanders. I have information that will allow the army to take control of the zone and destroy it. Huh. An emission is starting. Come, let's talk inside. Interesting. Because in our ending, he got out. He was happy. We've got a problem. Our choppers are crashing for reasons that we've not understood yet. Until we work it out, there won't be any helicopter support. The only way to get to the borders of the zone is on foot. The reasons are obvious. There are many anomalies in the air, especially in the center of the zone. Mm. We had a map with the safe air corridor. They got the best, vo they got the best voice actor the helicopters for Australia, you know? had emission protection systems. That's odd. You're telling me you haven't noticed that anomalies move around after an emission. Some disappear, and new ones show up in different places, I don't know which that. makes your map of anomalies effectively useless. Mm -hmm. So that's what it is. What? Emissions don't just follow one another. The other guy is like if completely lost. If you can scan the area and identify all the anomalies, the choppers will be able to collect us safely Provided they're dispatched right after an emission. We must inform the HQ of this as soon as possible. I'll contact my commanders right after the emission. <laughs> Lieutenant, get him on the line as soon as you can. What would have been cool is if we have gotten the guy from the uh, the second game as well, Scar in this, you know, it'd be like all three reunited. But nope, the, that guy is currently uh, missing until he shows up in the second game, right? 
Let's talk to our friends if he has anything new for us. Hey, it's been a while since we played with ourselves, you know? Hard save. In a way, what I like about this series is that you get to play with like three different enemies basically throughout the game, right? You play as you play as a stalker, then you play as a mercenary, and then you play as the army guy, right? Which is pretty cool. I, I enjoy that one like gives like different points of view for like the story from enemies basically because all these guys kill each other, right? I don't know. I thought there was just one before we got in. No, oh, I started speaking. Or no? That was a story I mentioned. Uh, zone, I thought I could do it myself. It turned out to be more complicated. The people who started weren't controlling anymore. They weren't? I mean, we killed them. I'll explain everything when we get out of here. What did you see in the sarcophagus? How do you know he went? Well, I guess everybody knows his story at this point. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. Because they knew who he was. It's all fake. The monolith, the wish granter, it's just a lie. The vice that clouds your mind, the people behind it are hiding out somewhere else. I thought we killed them. Unless they retconned the ending. Do you know who is behind it? Maybe yes, maybe no. I don't know what to believe anymore. Despite that, I found out more. I think they reconned the ending of the first game. Because in the first game it was quite clear, we killed the, the scientists and Australia got out where he was okay, like to sit in the grass or something. Guides. Is he from the first game? I'm not sure. Oh yeah. How many did you find? Yeah, I found them all. Batteries, flame, firefly, okay. Ghost and Fang were my friends. I, mean, I don't think we ever even met them in the first game. You think they would show up or something? Or did we meet one of them? Scorcher. Together we managed to get past the Scorcher. We did? I don't remember that. Wait, hold up. Unfortunately, they both died. After a return, we parted company. I was willing to stay with the doctor. All oh, right, they got past the scorcher the first time, and then they dis he disabled it. Got it, right, right, right. See, Mercs. Goes that because he trusted the scientist? I don't remember that. Mm -hmm. Fuck, this shit's going crazy outside. Um. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Here we got a firefly, but it's okay, we'll keep this with us. Looks like the emission is over. Kirill, contact HQ. Maybe the scientist was not the only one. Well, there was a bunch of them, right? I don't think there was... It wasn't just one guy, there was like really a bunch of them. Well, I guess we did have to wait for the emission, my bad. To me, the way that the first game ended, the true ending, is that we killed everybody and Australia got out, basically. So, but yeah, you're right, maybe there were like other scientists, or maybe there was like another group of scientists, like in another lab or something. It's possible. That's why he's saying, like, I don't know exactly, he's not sure what happened, because I feel like the developers are not sure where the story is going at that point. It's like, yo, should we keep the first game canon should we say he killed the scientists or but then if we do there's no more games right because then the zone will not be controlling people so let's bring something like well we're not sure anymore if there's more or not or you know i feel like they modify the story as they went you know the game was so successful that they're like fuck we gotta like find something else because otherwise the zone will stop existing which is fine i'm okay with that i have no problem with that Why did comes go down? because of the emission it's impossible to establish. Should be more people going to see consciousness. The way that I remember in the first game, I felt that we killed them all. That's what it felt like because you know they're like, no, stop, stop, don't kill, don't kill, don't kill, you know. 
Like, it was like the end of the world if we killed those five people, right? Or whatever, how many they were. And we did. And then psh, everything was peace and quiet. So the way they were presenting it, it felt like that was it. But we're not sure. You're right. Could be it. Comes could be there were more. During one. I mean, you know, when it comes to story, anything could happen, right? They can come back and say, oh, actually, one guy survived. Or there's like a sixth member that you guys didn't know about that he's back. He recreated the whole thing. Like... Anything could be done, which is cool. I, that's fine. Okay. No problem with right, that. Listen up. Operation Fairway is being taken over by the USS. Is Major Dick Tarif there? Yes. That me. Okay. He's in command from now on. Tell him to stay put. Uh, the sea consciousness exists to stop the zone expanding, and he killed them. There is also three, all right? Yeah. But he says somebody else is in control, so I'm wondering like who else could be behind the um. Controlling what, you know? Controlling who, you know? To be contacted by his superior shortly. Roger. Because you're right, otherwise nobody should be in control. Monolith is dead. So what's, you know, what's happening, right? We'll see in the sequel. Major, do you read me? Major Degtireb here. I read you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm sure they're going to explain it in Stalker 2, for sure. But that'll be like the mystery of the game, right? I've managed to acquire documents about experiments carried out in the zone. Furthermore, we've been contacted by a Stalker who's been in the CNPP. His name is Strelak, and he's offered us his cooperation. Chernobyl power plant. Nuclear power plant, CNPP. One month and 16 days. Yes, I have the data, and Straylock's information confirms it. The helicopters were hit by anomalies after their locations changed during the emission. Yep. The anomaly map issued to the pilots turned out to be useless. Good. That means we have until the next emission. We'll be collected together with the stalker from position B28. What is stalker? Straylock? Okay, so let's go there. You heard the news, fellas. When we go, stick together and keep the stalker alive. Yeah, well, oh, I guess I do have to bring everybody at this because I don't want to leave anybody behind, huh? Fuck, you're right. Two uh, months. Any questions? Get ready to move. We'll be short. Major, can I have a word? Yes, you may. The fact that Charter Pro is the clear, clearest day. That's what I've been saying. I like this guy. He's very, like, by the book. He gets shit done, you know? I'm fucking ready right now, man. Let's fucking go. Straylock, any final words? It sucks I couldn't bring the monolith guy. I feel like he made so much more sense for him to have him here, but... Whatever, let's go. No, I tried to keep everybody uh, alive. Good luck with that. I'm gonna be using the big guns. Move out, squad. Prepare evacuation initiated. I do like these auto saves. That's pretty cool. I'm ready. Fuck. Let's go. Australia, where is your gas rifle? I know you have one. I have one at the end of the game. Damn it. Did you use all the ammo? For fuck's sakes. What kind of a weapon is he using? That's it? We're fully equipped, goddammit. Oh man, take some cover. Huh? Would you look at that? The sons of bitches actually made it. You were right, Strelok. Zombies! Oh no. Zombies. Not worth it. Huh? 
Damn, the AI is super aggressive, huh? What the fuck? I guess we keep moving. The guy was not dead, but he is now. There's about a dozen zombies in the building. Oh, kill them! What are you going to do? <laughs> Move to the left and cover each other. Really attracted the whole fucking town, huh? So you bigger mags with this. Every zombie in Big Yat is going to know we're coming. We've got to move faster. Run! Yeah, I know. It's what funny how in the first game you're trying to go into Pripyat and the third game you're trying to get out of Pripyat. I get it. I feel like dropping a better gun in front of Australia or some shit. I'm equipped like a real fucking gun. What are you doing? Roger that. We'll be there soon. Okay, let's go. Stay alert and follow orders. We're real close to. I did send Surge on YouTube the Stalker Anomaly trailer just to see where the community. Oh, I'm sure the mods the are. Point. I should check it out. I'm sure the mods are absolutely fucking Move. insane, dude. I'm sure they're fucking insane. Everybody says, you know, play with mods, play with mods. I'm like, oh, no, that's bad. I'm just uh, not huge into There's mods if I don't have to, check like. If I don't need them, I'm gonna use them, basically, is what I'm saying. to be a problem but we got good firepower should be fine nice nice good fire at will this gun fucking rules man very precise feels good Same. Good job, boys. So far, so good. So far, so good. Oh, no, 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 no. Where? What's happening? It's here. Run. Revive the medic. What medic? Oh, what happened? Huh? Okay, run! Well, I guess it's just like side missions, there's no controller, it's just... When well, I'm gonna a standalone mod, have his own story like another game, but we're all stalkers. Yeah, that's... Major Detirep, we're taking heavy fire from an unidentified enemy! That sounds pretty good, like, that's like the complete game, basically. Not for long. It's monolith fighters! Fire at real and keep moving towards the 
Try to get the big guns. Come on, boys. One last push. I'm trying. I should fucking see them with you. Right Those are friends. Go, go, go. Trying. Twenty for our friends. Let's go, guys. Come on. That's what I should do this backwards for. Oh, I guess we made it. Oh, okay. As a reward for successfully completing his investigation, Dick Tyrev was offered a promotion to Colonel and the position of Mission Coordinator. He declined the opportunity to work at the HQ and submitted a personal request to be sent to the Zone as the USS Permanent Observer. So for sure gonna see him in Stalker too, for sure. For the sure, information sure. about the development of side devices obtained by Dick Tyrev alerted USS Commander. Again, the all the information the gathered on ex-designated laboratories was removed from military archives and filed as top secret. Of course. All personnel working in the zone were ordered to prevent the disclosure of information about the laboratories at any cost. Several experimental samples were made on yeah. the basis of technical documents for item 62. Yeah. Following a set of test trials, it was decided not to go ahead with large-scale deployment of a weapon due to the high cost of ammunition. Ah. Nonetheless, it would be reasonable to assume that further development of the Gauss rifle is ongoing. In the sequel. Skadas became home to any and all who could reach it. Fierce stalker resistance did not stop the bandits from making regular and ultimately unsuccessful attempts to establish their so-called order on the ship. Cool. Despite this ongoing struggle, the Skadovsk carried on its unique brand of life. Following the destruction of the Bloodsucker Lair, it's unlikely that anything could significantly the RPG change ending. the state of affairs on the Skadovsk. The old ship became a temporary center of stability in the ever-changing world that is the Zone. Right. A fragile balance was reached between Freedom and Duty Squads at Yanov Station. Yep. Tired of the endless struggle, fighters of both factions started leaving their squads and joining the Free Stalkers. The scientific expedition, organized by Professors Herman and Ozersky, was Yay. a success. The data they collected facilitated the development of groundbreaking medicine and technology, which prompted the Ministry of Education to allocate additional funding for researching the zone. Gary's stories about the Army's fate scared stalkers away from Pripyat. The few who dared to venture into the city ran into inexplicable Gary. phenomena, which added further dark strokes to an already gloomy picture of the dead city. Dead city, well said. The legend of the Oasis stopped being a legend. The identity of those yeah. who managed to find a way to the secret anomaly became an increasingly regular topic of conversation among stalkers. Despite this, 
the number of adventurers trying to find it remained high, something the bandits were quick to take advantage of with constant offers to lead stalkers to the oasis, which usually ended in muggings at a safe distance from stalker camps. Organized mercenary squads continue to be active in the zone. Their interest in the secret laboratories is becoming increasingly difficult for USS operatives to ignore. There. Attempts to establish the identity of the client who hired the mercenaries proved unsuccessful. It's scarred to begin with. It's the area scarred. around Yanov Station continues to attract growing numbers of stalkers. The lack of dangerous mutants and abundance of anomalous areas have led to the area being referred to as a treasure trove with increasing regularity. That's nice. Zulu returned to Duty's main base oh, yeah. at the Rostock plant. Nobody knows what he discussed with the leader of Duty, General Veronin, but several days later he was spotted at the head of a large squad on its way to the center of the zone. Senior Lieutenant Sokolov continued to take part in flying missions over the zone. During one such recon flight over Le Mans, his aircraft was shot down by mercenaries. Two weeks later, he was picked up by a patrol near the cordon. Within a month of his rescue, Sokolov had left the Air Force, joining a civil airline instead. Oh, it's nice for him. A group of stalkers was forced to seek shelter on Noah's old barge during a particularly powerful emission. When the barge was attacked by a horde of snorks afterwards, stalkers were forced to concede that the barge was as good a defense against mutants as anything they'd seen. Even more astonishing was a litter of pseudo-dog puppies that Noah himself led oh. into battle against the snorks. Interesting. Having overcome his alcoholism, Cardin left the Skadovsk. Stalkers said he went to look for his missing friends. Oh, yeah, this Several guy. days later, he returned, suffering from wounds and radiation poisoning. As soon as his wounds healed, he left the zone for the second and final time. Good for him. Strelok passed on the information he obtained on his trip to the Chernobyl NPP to the USS commanders. This prompted the government to create a scientific institute for research of the Chernobyl anomalous area. Strelok took up the position of chief scientific consultant to oh. the institute. Good for him. When Colonel Kowalski, commander of the Stingray Group, returned from the zone, he was forced to explain the reasons for the failure of Operation Fairway. Following a dragged out investigation, and the Brass's failed attempt to make him the fall guy, the Colonel was finally given an honorable discharge. Good for him as well, he's not dead. No? Cool. And that's it. Happy ending for everybody. Awesome, 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 awesome. I can't skip. I can't skip this. Is there real? No, I can't. There you go. Um, well, there you go. That was uh, Call of Duty, Call of Free Pet. Um, excellent series. I've already like reflect on the series. So, I did say this before. I would have loved. To have played this back in the day when they came out. I can see why these games were so massive back then. But at the same time, I don't think I would have understood these games as well back then. You know, because I didn't... I wasn't like too much into FPSs and... Or was I? I don't remember. But like, I don't think I would have got it as well as I did today, you know? So I appreciate it for that. Um, game is absolutely amazing. The world is absolutely amazing. The games themselves, the first one... Is a very complete game. There's a lot of shit going on in that game. It's very well balanced, I feel like. You're getting new weapons, new armors. Uh, as you advance through the game, and there's a lot of them. Um, cool outside areas, indoor areas, all kinds of different environments. That was like very good, very well done. Um, the ending was also very interesting. Yeah, like that whole like... 
traversing the Cher Chernobyl power plant and shit, that was pretty cool. The brain scorcher, the voices, a lot of like memorable moments, you know. Clear Sky was different. Um, probably like my least favorite, I would say. Just a lot of repetition. Like you already played the first game, you already know what's up. I can see maybe back then you played the original game and then you wait like two years for Clear Sky to come out and then you play it again. It's kind of like all new. Yeah, I did play it back to back, so that's probably like it felt like whatever. Um, that was like not so well balanced. I feel like Clear Sky, like. You don't get really any armor stores the end, or I didn't find any. The guns are like... You don't get, again, like all the guns. I don't know, it was just weird. The ending was pretty intense, which was cool. Um, there was a lot of improvements from the original game. A lot of improvements in Clear Sky. Graphics, UI, menus, quality of life, you know. But overall, like, not probably not my favorite. And this would be like probably like my second favorite, and I do like this one quite a bit, Call of Pripyat. I feel like this game was a lot more... Um, there's a lot more attention to detail in this one, a lot of improvements, once again, over Clear Sky, you know. Uh, it's well... The game is well paced. Um, again, you're getting your armors and your weapons properly throughout the game, your artifacts, you're getting them. As you're advancing to the game, you're getting better and better and better at a constant rate, you know. So that's pretty cool. Um, the ending was a bit easy. I don't know, like it just ended. I was I was thinking we're gonna get like some sort of final showdown where you're going to like this giant building, like in um, in the Chernobyl power plant in the first game and the hospital in the second game. But nope, just you get to the helicopters and that's it. GG, good good job, we're done. I do like the fact that um, your character actually speaks, gives them a bit more, you know personality and he's a badass all the characters are badasses in all three games can't wait to see them in the sequel for sure they're gonna be back hopefully nobody dies in the sequel because you know how they do it in sequels um and yeah overall just very enjoyable very very enjoyable games very fun very um fairly unique like i said it before in a way i feel like these games um this is what fallout should have been right Fallout 3 especially, like Fallout 4 as well. Um, amazing story, am amazing world. Gameplay is like really fucking good. Again, with the... Um, I think it's like the only game that I actually that I actually used cover. Which is surprising. But again, the gameplay is like really, really fun. Voice acting is fucking horrible from game to game. It's just worse and worse and worse. <laughs> so that's you know, to be expected. But overall, like, you know, um, shit, nothing to complain about. Just a very, very, very enjoyable experience with these games. I gotta watch the movie. That's what we're gonna do, hopefully, by this week. And I wanna watch the movie. I wanna see what's up. Even though I know it doesn't have much to do with the games. But we'll see what's going on. Um, that's it. Thank you for watching. Can't wait for the sequel. Peace.